I have travelled a lot through train in recent times. I have promised myself that I will not argue with anyone over anything. My identity as a Muslim is the biggest threat for me and my family. A dear friend said, I have stopped carrying mutton in my lunchbox nowadays. Someone might say I'm carrying beef and I might get lynched. Leave lunchbox. Muslims are scared to travel also if they're sporting a beard or wearing a hijab or burqa. After Junaid's incident, I've strictly warned my younger brother to not venture far from the house wearing a kurta pajama. That's common on Fridays. My mum was saying, then, beta, Eid me at least ek din ke liye ghar aana. Bakra hai kurbani ke liye. Then my father said, "Nahi, mahol kharaab hai. Eid me travel mat karna." Recently, my mom and dad were traveling in the train, and it was a Friday. I called her specifically to tell her not to read the namaz in the train. My father told me that in his family, every child was given a personal cow to look after. The children loved their cow like a mother and took care of it like a family member. Today, Muslim rural families are afraid to even own or care for a cow. It has become a symbol of fear. My parents told me not to say salam on phone in public places. In today's India, while such fear would never enter the consciousness of the majority Hindus, it has become an everyday reality for the Muslims as they are demonized. Demonized, othered, marginalized, from politics of food, space, language to identity. A question I have heard way too much. So, do you identify as a Muslim first or as an Indian? As if the two are mutually exclusive. With the fear of being left unemployed, thousands of Muslim workers migrating to cities from low income groups often hide their religious identity or adopt a neutral name in order to fit in. Well, this is never the case with majority.